Hey Activity Learners! Today we are going to use a scale to see which number blocks and Sesame Street friends are heavier. This is Block C, a balancing scale. Block C's mouth and eyes will move toward the object to let us know which one is heavier. Some friends that we will be testing today may even weigh the same. Let's get started. Here is number block 5. Let's compare number block 5 to Elmo. Which one do you think is heavier? Let's find out. Let's see what happens when we add Elmo to the balancing scale. Do you see which way Bloxy's mouth and eyes have moved? That's right, towards Elmo. So Elmo is heavier than number block 5. Now, let's compare number block 7 and Sesame Street friend Bert. Which one do you think is heavier? Let's test it out. Starting with number block 7, and let's see what happens when we add Bert. Whoa, look at that! Bloxy's eyes and mouth are open towards number 7. So number block 7 is heavier than Bert. Now let's compare number block 9 and Snuffleupagus. What's your guess? Which one is heavier? Watch what happens when we add Snuffleupagus. Which one is heavier? That's right, Snuffleupagus. How about number block 8 and Cookie Monster? Take a guess. I think it's going to be Cookie Monster. Let's see if I'm right. Wait a minute. What do you see? Bloxy's eyes and mouth haven't moved towards anyone, which means number block 8 and Cookie Monster weigh the same. Let's try number block 6 and Rosita. What's your guess? Which one is heavier? That's right, Rosita. Now let's try number block 10 and Ernie. I think number block 10 will be heavier. Let's see if I'm right. What do you notice? Are Bloxy's eyes and mouth move towards anyone? No, it's making the equal sign, which means number block 10 and Ernie weigh the same. One of them isn't heavier than the other. Now let's try number block 4 and Abby. Who is heavier? That's right, Abby. Now what would happen if I added number block 3? So right now we have 4 plus 3. 4 plus 3 equals 7. It's still not heavier than Abby. Let's add number block 2. So now we have 7 and we've added 2, which means we've added 9. Look at that! We've balanced the scale. Now both sides weigh the same. But what would happen if I added number 1? So we have 9 and now we're going to add 1. 9 plus 1 equals 10. So now the number block side is heavier than Abby. 10 number blocks is heavier than Abby. Let's compare Grover and number block 8. Which one is heavier? That's right, number block 8. Now what if I took Grover out and added Zoe? Which one do you think will be heavier now? Zoe is heavier than number block 8. Interesting. 
Now let's compare Snuffleupagus and number block 7. Snuffleupagus is heavier. Now, what if I added 5 to number block 7? 7 plus 5 equals 11. It's still not heavier than Snuffleupagus. What if I added 4? 11 plus 4 equals 15. Wow, 15 number blocks is still not heavier than Snuffleupagus. Now, what if I added number block 8? 15 plus 8 equals 23. Oh, finally! 23 number blocks is definitely heavier than Snuffleupagus. Now let's try number block 10. And Elmo. Number block 10 is heavier than Elmo. Now what if I added Big Bird? Two Sesame Street friends are heavier than number block 10. Now I'm going to try something else. I'm going to take Big Bird out and switch him with Bert. What do you think will happen? Wow, these two Sesame Street friends are heavier than number block 10. Now let's add 4 to the number block side. 10 plus 4 equals 14. 14 number blocks is heavier than Elmo and Bert. Now let's compare number block 6 and Oscar. Which one is heavier? That's right, Oscar. Now what would happen if I added number 3? 6 plus 3 equals 9. Nine number blocks is still not heavier than Oscar. What would happen if I added number block two? So right now we have nine and nine plus two equals 11. 11 number blocks is heavier than Oscar. I hope you enjoyed comparing number blocks and Sesame Street friends on the balancing scale. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fun learning videos. Bye bye.